welcome back. He's the first ever Polynesian owned NFL agency dedicated to uplifting talent from Polynesian and underserved communities. And it was recently recognized for having the first Polynesian agent to have a client drafted in history. Here to tell us more is NFL agent Dean Augustine. Dean, thank you, thank you so much for being here at Live in the Bay. Of course, thanks for having me. Yes, I'm so excited to talk about your journey because it is so impressive. So you are um, the first Polynesian NFL agent. Tell me about your journey to getting to that point. Yeah, so it all started really when I was 16 years old. Um, when I was 16, I really wanted to figure out what I wanted to do for kind of my career. I know that's kind of young for a lot of people to think yeah. about, but um, it's something that I, I really wanted to do. And football was always like my main passion and main love. Um, I played for a couple years, but wrestling was always the main thing I did. But football was always something that I came back to. I was really passionate about just like watching it, getting to know the kind of economics of it, the business side of it and everything. Um, so I started to look more into it and um, I figured an agent was a career that like really gravitated towards me just because I've, I've always been a people person my entire life. Um, so that's something that I really wanted to do. Um, but for me, coming from a Polynesian background, also Filipino and Mexican, so I think definitely the first one out of all those three yeah. to, to do it. But um, yeah, so I kind of would look to people to kind of see if anyone had done it before because there's always been so many Polynesian greats in the NFL, like the Troy Polamalu's and the Haloti and yeah. guys like that who I were always my favorite players growing up. Um, so I would, I figured I was like, there's gotta be someone who's, who's out there who's done it before. Maybe I can like ask them questions and like see what they've done to get, to get there. But there wasn't anybody. So at that age, I kind of figured, okay, well, if there isn't anyone, I gotta be the first one because I, that's something that uh, I thought I could just be a trailblazer kind of in the industry and be able yeah. to do that. Um, especially in one like sports where there isn't a lot of people who look like me in on the business side of things at least. Yeah. So I wanted to be able to to get there and do it for my people. So. Amazing. And you officially became an NFL agent in October and this, this the first season where you're able to draft players, you had your first draftee drafted into the NFL. Tell me about him and that experience. Yeah, so that's Sion Vaki. He plays for the Detroit Lions right now. He was a fourth round draft pick. Um, he played at University of Utah. Um, he's also from the Bay Area, so that was a really big thing and something that me and him connected on a lot. He's from uh, Antioch, California. Uh, went to Liberty High School um, over there and actually won them their first state title in high school. So he's Bay Area football great for sure, which is, is something that's even even more wonderful. And that's why I love talking about him on Just this so show. Just so poetic, sure. right? Yeah, definitely. Um, another, he's also of Polynesian descent. He's Tongan. Um, so we'll see him throw up a lot of tees like Talanoa Hufunga does this year. Um, so. It'll be, a, it'll be great, and uh, I'm just so excited for his journey and everything that he's been through. He's, he does nothing but work hard and put his head down and just keep grinding. So it's, this, this season's going to be great for him. Take me back to the draft when you're kind of you know, waiting out the process with him, and, and what happens? Where, how do you get the phone call? Tell me about that moment. Yeah, so that was quite a hectic moment. Uh, there was a couple teams that we knew were really interested in him. Um, so fourth round comes around. This is about the pretty much the area where I had told my coworkers, told him, like, fourth round's probably about where you're going to go. Um, so then uh, one team ends up taking a different player, they go a different route, and there's the Lions still there on the board, and I kind of figured they've been aggressive this whole time, they've traded up for every single one of their draft picks, um, and so we're watching the TV, and all of a sudden we hear screaming from the other side of the Airbnb, and I'm like, oh, this, this must have happened right now then, but uh, at the time it was actually the Eagles whose pick was there, um, who were actually kind of like a sleeper team, I guess, to kind of pick him, and then all of a sudden we see Detroit Lions come up on the screen, and we're all just going crazy and screaming because moments before that, I looked to my boss and I told him, I was like, um, Detroit, yeah, they've been really aggressive, they really like him, we know that, it wouldn't surprise me if they come up and got him right now, yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then they did. And so uh, it was really just poetic. Um, I've said it, it, this a million times already to my friends and family, but their color is actually officially Honolulu blue. Yeah. So that's another tie-in with like the Polynesian culture and everything like that too. So it was it was really just such a such an amazing moment. Oh my gosh, I'm literally <laughs> getting goosebumps right now. Like the story doesn't get any more poetic. That's yeah. just like the cherry on top of kind of your story, connecting with him and then getting drafted to that team. It was just like it was meant to be. Oh so, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> this is such an accomplishment for you at a young age. Age, how do you hope to inspire others in the future? Yeah, I just, I hope that like with me being out there now, um, other people who come from backgrounds like me can see that it's possible. Now there's someone out there who's doing it and, and living their dream. 
um, that you can make it to the NFL in a different way than just uh, playing the game. There's so much more than the NFL is a billion dollar business out there where there's plenty of different jobs that, that are out there that uh, there, we should be represented more as a community in there amongst the entire kind of head to toe in the NFL rather than just on the field. We should be, there should be more agents. There should be more people on TV talking about this. There's, it should be a, a whole movement. And uh, the Bay here alone has, has done a great job with uh, kind of promoting the Polynesian culture, especially just this last week. Um, I think it became Samoan Heritage Week um, in Daly City, South San Francisco, and here in San Francisco as well, too. So we're making a lot of movement, and it's uh, it's been great to be a part of that here here in the Bay. So Yeah, you're only 25, and you've already had some great success, success right out of the gate. So congratulations. But what's next for you? What's going to happen down the line? So we are uh, about to start some more recruiting stuff. We're picking that up. I'm actually flying to New York next week to go see Sione's first game against the Giants, the first preseason game. Um, so they're doing a couple uh, a couple of preseason practices with the Giants as well too so that'll be fun and then uh, yeah so then after that kind of just going along the season checking out his games and then a lot of recruiting for sure we uh, we got a lot of ties out in Utah so I'll be out that way a lot but um, yeah just a lot of a lot of recruiting and then uh, also coming up uh, here in the Bay is one of our um, NIL clients, Jaron Kiave Sangapolatele, he's actually the number one player in Hawaii right now, and he's going to go play football at University of Cal Berkeley uh, next fall. So that'll be even more exciting. So we've had a lot of Bay Area ties here at the company, and it's been great and paid off for us immensely. So Yeah, so exciting, very exciting. For anyone that is looking to follow your footsteps, what advice would you give them in pursuing this? I would say don't let people knock you off the path um, that you're on because – uh, the agency world is for sure one of the most competitive industries out there and there's you're going to hear a lot of people tell you that oh it's it's hard to do like are you sure you really want to do that it's going to be impossible to break in but if you keep the main thing the main thing then things will work out for you. Um, so that, I think that's my biggest advice for sure and also don't be afraid to reach out to people I think informational interviews are, are really a key and networking in the sports industry and probably any other industry is like really the, the main thing to do. Um, networking is more important than probably anything. I want to touch on your agency really quickly and just if people want to work with you, how can they reach out to you and what do you guys offer specifically? Yeah, so we offer anything from NIL services. So that's like the high school and college realm of things all the way up to the pros. We're one of the first agencies to do that. And we're also the first Polynesian owned agency. Um, so that was a big thing for us. We wanted to remain authentic to the culture. I should also mention the name, the stand. Um, so follow us on Instagram at thestandard.collective or you can follow me at Dean underscore Augustine. Um, but yeah, if you want to reach out, just shoot me an Instagram DM or LinkedIn or email, anything like that. I'm not hard to find. So I'm happy to talk to anyone out there. Okay, well, Dean, congratulations. I look forward to following your career and the many players that are going to be a part of your agency in the future. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah.